Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be uh, discussing some of the stuff that I found out by reverse engineering a very recent and new Discord scam. So if you guys don't know yet, let me enlighten you. Uh, like one or two days ago, there has been like, you know, this site called discord-auth.com and this might look like the exact same and like this might look like the legitimate discord login page but this is actually a scam this is not maintained by discord and basically like some users accidentally go to this site or maybe someone else tells them to go there they don't know so they go here they enter their uh their you know credentials and then this website has access to their discord account and stuff so yeah, I have reverse engineered like a few s stuff that actually makes it suspicious and it also makes it sure that this site is not maintained by Discord. So let's just go over it. So first of all, uh, let me actually open up the developer tools here. And if you reload this page, this is what's gonna happen. So first of all, this site uses React as well. I actually checked it with the React Dev Tools, and this site does use React. Now, let me show you the uh, like the most fishy stuff. Let me actually take this URL and let me curl it. So let me do this. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be uh, discussing some of the stuff that I found out by reverse engineering a very recent and new Discord scam. So if you guys don't know yet, let me enlighten you. Uh, like one or two days ago, there has been like, you know, this site called discord-auth.com and this might look like the exact same and like this might look like the legitimate Discord login page, but this is actually a scam. This is not maintained by Discord. And basically, like, some users accidentally go to this site, or maybe someone else tells them to go there, they don't know, so they go here, they enter their, uh, their, you know, credentials, and then this website has access to their Discord account and stuff. So, yeah, I have reverse engineered, like, a few s stuff that actually makes it suspicious, and it also makes it sure that this site is not maintained by Discord. So let's just go over it. So first of all, uh, let me actually open up the developer tools here. And if you reload this page, this is what's going to happen. So first of all, this site uses React as well. I actually checked it with the React Dev Tools, and this site does use React. Now. Let me show you the uh, like the most fishy stuff. Let me actually take this URL and let me curl it. So let me do this. Okay, so curl head, and we're just gonna you know find out the headers here. Like these are specified here as well, but I don't think they show you the complete headers here. So if I actually curl this, you see this returns that the server header is Netlify. Okay, and, 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 and now let me actually show you the real Discord.com headers. Look at this here. Server, Cloudflare. And you see this difference? Like, the real Discord website is actually behind Cloudflare, you know, for DDoS protection and stuff. But this fake Discord one, the Discord auth website, is on Netlify. That means that this website doesn't have its own server side thing. I mean, like, not actually, you know, hosted with it. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing that's fishy. The other thing that is really, really fishy over here is this ddl3.js. Okay, now look at this. Since Discord uses React, every single JavaScript file has like this really weird looking obfuscated name, okay? So like it's like the names don't make sense here, but the thing with this is ddl3.js, this script, this doesn't have the same name format as these, these ones here. So that means this wasn't actually included in the react.js bundle. 
So if we actually curl this as well, so curl, and if we take the URL, see this? It shows the JavaScript content is window.finished login. So this is a window property. It change, it redirects you to this OAuth page with a client ID and the scope is bot. That means this is trying to make you invite a bot to the server. Now, let me tell you like the, the, like the part that doesn't make sense at all. Discord is made in React. If you take a look at any of their JavaScript code, you see that all this code has been minified, like minified and obfuscated. So but the thing with this is this piece of code, it has proper indenting and it's not minified. And you see like this, like three liner is actually, you know, it takes more space than some other JavaScript files here. Now that's like the thing that doesn't make sense at all. If this was actually a legit thing, its file name would be like, you know, like normal React production JS file names. And then it would mean it would be minified. It won't have like any of these, you know, like indentation, proper spacing and proper naming, etc. So that's something fishy. Now let me actually show you something cool here. You see, it's trying to access window.globalenv.clientid. So that means the client ID or the ID of the bot that it's trying to invite should be available in this variable. So if you go to the console and if you type this, so window.globalenv.clientid. This is a Discord Snowflake ID. That means this is a legit bot. Okay. So let's actually try to invite this. Oops. I actually closed this here. Um, yeah. So let's actually try to invite this. So let me copy this link here. Let me go to my Discord. Right. So if we actually go over here, as you can see, wait, let me actually take these two over here. All right. Great. So as you can see over here, if we paste this in and let me actually replace the quotation marks and we're going to put the client ID that we have found over here. So in this part, we're going to take this, copy this in the client ID. We're going to paste this in. Okay. So it's asking for admin permissions and then scope bot. It's trying to add a bot. So basically what happens is after you have logged in, after you've entered your credentials, it redirects you to this bot invite page. If you hit enter, See this voice activities alpha connect discord. This is a bot. It's asking us to invite this bot. Now, let me actually show you the most interesting part. If I actually take this to a server, look at this active since 3rd July, 2021. Today is 4th July. That means this bot has been launched literally yesterday. Okay, like this bot account was literally created yesterday. And look at this, used in 85 servers. How does a legitimate bot that just started one day ago joins 85 servers in 24 hours? That is not possible in any way. And even if it wanted to get verified, Discord has a system where it can detect if the bot being added is actually like, you know, legit or not. If it if it if it's in like 20 to 30 servers in like a short amount of time and the bot's not popular that means maybe the user has been creating multiple servers and then adding the bot so this is the part that doesn't make sense here okay so yeah i'm not gonna add this bot here so anyways let me actually exit this oops i actually closed my firefox on that other window okay so let me actually show you something that's even more interesting okay you see, this website also has its own API called api.discordauth.com. And like, believe it or not, this has the exact same endpoints as the real Discord API. Let me show you something here. If I reload this, you see what it does. It makes a request to experiments, then science, location metadata, and then science as well. Look at this. 
It also makes a request to ex experiments, science, location metadata, and then science again. The same sequence. And then let me actually show you the other thing. If you take any one of these endpoints here, you see the headers it returns. The original Discord API returns Cloudflare. This one also returns Cloudflare. And look at this, like all of these headers are the same except these two. Now, my hypothesis is that this api.discordauth.com, this is probably just, you know, a proxy and all of the requests redirect to this Discord, the official Discord API. So whoever like has set up this fake Discord API server, any request made to that server gets redirected to the original Discord API in the back. And then before that request gets, you know, redirected to the Discord API, they do some voodoo stuff. Probably when you enter some raw login credentials, it stores those credentials in the database. And yeah, it probably does something like that. So that's basically everything I found out about this fake Discord login scam. And I hope you guys are careful and if you... Like, if you ever suspect something like this, please don't click the link or enter your credentials. Your account might get hacked and your personal information might fall into the hands of bad people. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it helped raise awareness about this Discord scam that has been going around, for, like, since yesterday. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and like the video. I put a lot of effort into my videos and it really helps me out a lot if you guys subscribe. Yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.